Hello, I'm BX Slicker, and welcome back to the video. Today I have some Minecraft news I'd like to share with you all. It's to do with Minecraft servers, because the thing about Minecraft servers is they are a really big part of the console game now, and given that LifeO had this huge controversy last week, which they seem to be working on fixing in the future, so that's kind of good news, and also given that the first thing people ask when they hear that servers are on the console version is, oh, does that mean I can play Hypixel on my Xbox? And the simple answer is sadly no, and the long answer is like, you used to be able to, and you might be able to in the future. Today I have an update to the Hypixel situation, as well as an update to the LifeO situation, and I think why not share them both in today's video. So like this video if you do like it because it helps out the channel a lot and let's know you do like being you know kept up to date with Minecraft servers because I know this is like kind of a niche thing but given that now servers are such a big part of the Minecraft console game I figured I should maybe keep you up to date with what's going on with them. Let me know if you do agree with that but let's get straight into talking about exactly what's going on right here. So let's talk about Hypixel. Hypixel is the biggest story and the biggest server in terms of just any Minecraft stuff. Everyone's heard of Hypixel in some form because you know they have the biggest versions of most game modes and uh, if you don't know they did exist on the Pocketition for quite some time. Hopefully you're seeing some Pocketition gameplay off Hypixel in the background, if I can find some of my old stuff. But the thing about this server is it did exist, but then it stopped after a while. This is one of the very few situations where a server became wildly successful and then just kind of stopped. Not because it wasn't successful, but because they just didn't really want to do it anymore. And at the time what they said was, we'll be coming back later when this makes more sense for us. And you know, there was always like a, we're going to go out alpha now, then we'll come back at some point with the beta. Uh, but then obviously that never came. That was over a year ago now. And just a couple of days ago, we had an update on the situation. And it's not a good update, but it's something worth knowing because personally I've been excited for Hypixel like, in terms of like you know servers on the uh, the Pocketition the one I've always been looking out for is Hypixel again because when I played Hypixel PE they did a lot of stuff really impressively like better than other servers it wasn't the best server but it was a really good server for specific things and I was looking forward to playing it at some point again however they recently confirmed or Noxie who is one of the managers there it seems confirmed that they're not going to be doing a Pocketition server at least not any time in the near or really even medium term future because as it turns out lots of people when they first heard that like oh Hypixel's not in this version but it used to be is they asked you know straight to the people like so when are you doing that and given that so many people asked them they figured they make a public statement and in that public statement they basically said uh, something along the lines of like oh yeah we're not doing that any point soon they clearly say we're not closing the door on this but they really said there's no that you know they're not doing it right now there's no plans to start right now and even though they admit that you know the Microsoft Mojang are really trying to push it and they think that's you know a, a big version of the game the Java edition the Java edition is where they're making their money the Java edition uh, even though the edition as a whole is shrinking compared to Minecraft you know just across everywhere, uh, they're still growing their server and they're still doing really well there. So their intention is not to switch over to this new version, which I found to be uh, very fascinating because if they did make the switch, they would get this big push from Microsoft, they would get this big push from Minecraft, but they decided not to do it. And although in this uh, you know post, they really kind of like avoid taking any shots on Microsoft, they say, uh, you know, they, they're remaining clearly hard to working on Java. They, they say a lot of stuff where they're basically like, this isn't anything so Microsoft, we just don't want to. What they said in their initial, um, so this is about a year ago, which they didn't link to, but I did figure I point out to it, uh, Basically, they did make a post just after they shut down the sh server, which was on March 31st, 2016. So we're talking like 18 months ago now. They did say quite a few things about what they wanted from a server. And interestingly, it was more like, you know, there needs to be software there so they can bring the full Hypix experience. And they want to go for the fullest high quality thing they can do, uh, you know, like they do on the PC. They want to kind of like have a Pocket Edition slash Bedrock Edition port, but they just couldn't do anything like that because a lot of the key software which exists on the PC can't exist on the Pocket Edition slash Bedrock Edition or just doesn't exist on those versions. So because those didn't exist at the time, they said we'll wait till they do exist and now they're kind of saying they probably won't exist and also because they said oh yeah well we we you know with that many players it costs a lot to run on this version uh they just couldn't afford you know they couldn't have any realistic way to support that and they decided to shut down the server for that reason so with that said i think it will be interesting to lead move that as a, a, a jumping point so there won't be a hypixel pocketition server but it's interesting that they went and pointed it out we might see some uh, you know in like because even though they said we'll be back at the time they're saying we really don't have any plans and that sounds like a bummer at first but to me it's out you know it, at first it's like well, that means there won't be just the same big server on the Java version and the new version. It sounds like there's now a big space. For anyone who is scared, like, I want to make the biggest Minecraft server, but I have, you know, scared of, uh, you know, having that come in there. There's a chance that someone's going to be emboldened to be like, okay, let's do it. Let's invest the, you know, whatever. No, let's say 50,000. I don't know how much it costs to run the Minecraft servers. I know it's pretty expensive to get the coders, get the people on board, but someone's going to be like, yeah, let's do that now. Now the biggest player says they're not even doing it. And I feel like that could be interesting for us in the end game. So, yeah, there's not going to be a high pixel. If you're looking forward to, like, the fourth and fifth server, that being Cubecraft and then maybe a Hypixel. Hypixel definitely won't be the fifth server, the sixth server, and it probably won't be coming at all, but that means we might see something big come out of nowhere, and that's what I'm kind of excited for. Like, we're going to see a lot of servers come out over the next few months because it's now on so many new platforms, and that could be a good result in the end term. In fact, I think it will be a good result in the end term, but we're going to have to wait and see on that one. So yeah, with well, that said, let's talk about the LiPo situation a bit more. If you don't recall, I made a video talking about how they really, um, you know, they had some really pr questionable practices, I would say, like, oh, how about you 
run over here to get your kit, which is technically free, but you pay for it with a minute of your life, or, um, you know, like, uh, advertising you in the chat, or, like, uh, for, there's a bunch of stuff they did, you know, the servers, they're only for those people, and they actually recently confirmed on Twitter um, that they're going to be changing that. So it's, I, I think that's good that us as a community, I don't want to say, like, me, because it wasn't me, it was the people who watched the video, who shared it at them, uh, for instance, even Aubrey Norris said, like, Lifeboat, you should give this a watch, um, and I think it's really cool that, like, us as a community came together, and, again, all of you put enough pressure on them that they decided, yeah, we should maybe not do that, um, and that's good. I think that every time, any time a server goes rogue and does something like that, you know, we shouldn't be like, oh, let's try and get them shut down. That's not cool, but we should be like, why don't we hop to another server, and then, you know, if things change, then we can go back. So, given that they tweeted out recently, and they said that we're improving several things, including nerfing the kits and making them easier to get, as well as doing more join coming downs, which, by the way, you'll see in the background that, yes, they did, in fact, do that. They implemented it pretty quickly, uh, because as soon as they got all of this response from people, they realized that it probably wasn't their best interest to not upset the players and not try to advertise them all to try and get like this some percent uh, to convert over and that means that now you know lifeboat is a much better server lifeboat has now been improved and to everyone who said in the original video like oh toy cat no one you shouldn't ever complain you should just you know put up with it or do the thing now the server is better for anyone who does want to you know like just play it normally which is most of people who want to play servers and for anyone who does want to play it now they get to pay for it without having to just feel like oh i'm paying because i want to just avoid this annoying nonsense they forced me no the server is just better for everyone in general which i think is a good improvement so yeah as you can see uh, change was made not because of me but because of you the community and i'm really glad that that sort of thing can happen i'm glad that us as a community can help shape the game or at least shape servers in some ways and that's something that i encourage you to do uh, at least a little bit when something awful like this comes up so yeah in general i would say uh you know community one servers zero i mean it's not really that they're lost it's just you know the community one as a whole, which is a good thing. Uh, it's also worth mentioning that uh, in PvP got in touch me off that, and they asked like, "Is there anything that's broken?" And I said that the uh, you know the sword bug was like the most annoying error, and it looks like they got that fixed this weekend. So servers as a whole, they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm sure Mineplex is doing the same, and I'm glad that we're getting like actual server competition, and there's like multiple servers going on. Even if we're not going to be seeing a high pixel, we are going to be seeing new servers, and that's good stuff to look forward to. So thank you very much for watching today's video. Like if you liked it, share if you liked it. Let me know if you do want to see more server videos like this one. I know it's kind of weird out there, but servers are a big part of Minecraft console, and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.